Welcome to Edinburgh, the Athens of the North, some have called her. To those of us who live here, she is a classical city in her own right. For 500 years, capital of the proud and ancient kingdom of Scotland. It was a king from Edinburgh who became the first sovereign of the United Kingdoms of Scotland and England. History is built into the sharp outline of Edinburgh's royal mind. This is a very European capital, a city of laws and learning, of doctors, and books and beer. A city of merchants, of commerce, and of banking. But at every turn, there are memories of days when the Scottish Parliament sat here in Edinburgh's High Street under the shadow of the Crown Tower of St Giles. Scotland still has its own laws, its own way of life, its own turn of speech, its own traditions, its own culture, and its own church. Sir Walter Scott was an Edinburgh lawyer. Robert Louis Stevenson lived here. Robert Burns came to her drinking house and her drawing rooms and wrote some of his best-loved songs here. The past seems alive among the blossoming trees of Princess Street Gardens. The National Gallery houses one of the finest art collections in Europe. Rembrandt, Titian, Degas and the Royal Scottish Academy shows work by contemporary Scottish artists. For 25 years, people from all over the world have come together under these northern skies to enjoy music and drama at the annual international festivals. Nothing is ever so theatrical as Edinburgh herself, the castle perched in its rocky crag, the spirit of romantic legend riding high into the March gloaming. The city is living people, and Edinburgh folk, like people in every European town, rush home from their work, perhaps go to a cinema, a theatre, or the Usher Hall. This concert hall, given to the city of Edinburgh by Andrew Usher, was opened in 1914. And perhaps more world-famous orchestras have appeared here than in any other hall in Europe. Our orchestra tonight is the BBC Radio Orchestra, conducted by Malcolm Lockyer. And as it plays Un Bon, Une Arbre, Une Rue, last year's winner for Severine and Monaco, and the overture to the Eurovision Song Contest of 1972 from Edinburgh, in which the United Kingdom entry will be sung by the new seekers, we send greetings to you wherever you may be. And to give you a warm welcome to Bonnie Scotland in person, here is our own Bonnie, Miss Moira Shearer. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this, the 17th Eurovision Song Contest, coming to you from the Usher Hall in Edinburgh. In a few moments, artists from 18 countries will be singing the song of their own country's choice to decide which one will receive the Grand Prix of 1972. The contest is being transmitted to 28 countries, and via satellite is being seen as far away as Brazil. A reasonable estimate might be that perhaps something like 400 million people could be watching at this moment. And I would like to extend to you all a very warm welcome to Edinburgh. The order in which the 18 songs will be sung has been decided by drawing lots. And they will be voted upon by our 36 member jury who are watching the contest from the Great Hall of Edinburgh Castle but I shall be giving you more details of the voting procedure later in the program. Bonsoir à tous, et bienvenue à ce 17e concours de la chanson qui vous parvient depuis le Asher Hall à Edinburgh. And Moira Shira repeats her welcome instant, in French, the other official language of the European Broadcasting Union. And I know I'll be saying what a lot of you are thinking if I say how good it is to see Moira Shira back on a stage. She was born in Dunfermline in Fife, just across the Firth of Forth from Edinburgh. Was, of course, a prima ballerina with Sadler's Wells, later the Royal Ballet, and uh, became an international film star overnight in 1947 with her film The Red Shoes, which made every little girl in the world want to be a ballerina. She's now uh, married to Ludovic Kennedy and lives in an old manse in the borders. 
Her three daughters go to school in Scotland, her son is at art school in London. She still uh, keeps a link with the live arts, serves on the music committee of the Scottish Arts Council. Now, may I remind you that there is a scorecard on page 59 of your Radio Times, so why not compare your score with that of the jury? And also, may I remind you that each song is uh, allowed exactly three minutes, and if it exceeds the time allowed, it is disqualified. Rehearsals have been very happy. There's been a very competitive and friendly spirit here in Edinburgh for the last three days. The sun's been shining, and at last, the moment of truth is almost here. De concours de la chanson Eurovision 1972. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to hear the first song in the Eurovision Song Contest of 1972. And the first song is the song for Germany. It's sung by Mary Ross. She's 23, cut not her first tooth, but her first disc at the age of 10. And here to conduct the German song is a very famous German conductor. He's also composer, arranger, pianist, and singer, Paul Kuhn. He takes Malcolm Lockyer's place on the podium. And the song is Nur die Liebe lässt uns leben. Only love lets us live. Mary Ross for Germany. confident, relaxed performance from Mary Rose. And it's always so difficult to be the first in at the deep end. Nur die Liebe lässt uns leben. Germany's entry for the Eurovision Song Contest. And now France. Betty Mars is the singer of the French song. Born in Paris, went to a stage school at the age of seven. Now sings in review and cabaret. And 
The baton is again passed from conductor to conductor. For France, one of the most famous names in the world of light music is conducting Franck Pourcel, who sold 15 million records of his arrangements in 20 years. Song specially composed for Betty Mars by Frédéric Borton, Comme Comédie. Betty Mars for France. Comme et comme et comme et dit Une chanson qu'on oublie Mais un jour qui reviendra Quelques pages d'une vie Qu'on effeuille et c'est ainsi Que la terre tournera Comme et comme et comme et dit Comme et comme et comme on dit Tant qu'on s'aime toi et moi Notre histoire s'écrit en peu de mots Je t'aime, tu m'aimes Quoi de plus beau Pourquoi faut-il s'en défendre Pourquoi chercher à comprendre Puisqu'on chante aussi Le bonheur n'est jamais si loin Comme et comme et comme et dit Les illusions d'aujourd'hui Pourraient être vraies demain Les orages ou bien la pluie Les chagrins et les soucis Après tout, cela Comme et comme et comme et dit L'on dit non puis l'on dit oui En regardant quelques fois Quelques pages d'une vie Qu'on effeuille c'est ainsi Que la terre tournera Comme et comme et comme et dit Comme, comme, comme on dit An elegant gown and an eloquent performance, as one might expect from France. Betty Mars and Comé Comédie. Song number three is the song for Ireland. Sandy Jones is the first singer to bring a song in the Irish language to the contest. She's 21, born in Dublin, has also worked as a fashion model. The conductor for Ireland is Colman Pierce, who conducted the Eurovision Orchestra at last year's song contest in Dublin. The song, Cure and Graw, the music of love. Sandy Jones for Ireland.
Sandy Jones in a lovely dress, chain mail of emerald green and the song Cholangro, the music of love for Ireland. From Spain, song number four, Jaime More will sing it. He's won many international festivals and you'll hear why in just a moment. The conductor and also the composer is Augusto Alguero, well known for his film music. He recently conducted the London Symphony Orchestra and the soundtrack music for Charlton Heston's Anthony and Cleopatra. The Spain song is Amanece at Daybreak, words by Ramon Alcusa, who wrote the winning song in 1968. Jaime More for Spain. song for Spain. Winners in 1968, joint winners in 1969. It's more and more difficult. 
and only number five coming up. But number five is our own song, Back Steel and Borrow, sung by the New Seekers. The home favourite, New Seekers, Paul Layton, Lynn Paul, Peter Doyle, Eve Graham, Marty Christian. First time a group has represented the UK in the Eurovision Song Contest. They are to be conducted by their Australian recording manager, David Mackay, who takes over the battle. And we all hold our breaths and cross our fingers for the new seekers with Beg, Steel or Barrow. A great cheer from this Edinburgh audience. Particular Scottish backing for Eve Graham. She comes from Perth. So here goes for the United Kingdom. United Kingdom, Beg, Steel or Borrow by Derek Old, Graham Hall and Steve Wool, sung by the New Seekers. Warm applause. They're at number five and now to number six for Norway, Greta Kausland and Benny Borg. As little Greta, she made records when she was five or six, returned to show business only last year, married with two children. He's a classical guitarist and they're both 25. Their musical director is Karsten Klaumann. And the song is called Smorting, Little Things. It's by... Cora Grökum and Eva Börsha. Skaffe seg penger, gods eller gull, arve et slott, det kan vi, men hva er vel det? Mot gleder som hverdagen gir. Reiser rundt jorden, kjenner seg fri Lamme på månen kan vi, men hva er vel det? Få øynene opp, og du ser Små ting, små ting, vær et rimmelte Små ting, små ting, det er å lytte Små ting, små ting Snakke om børn Små ting, små ting Treffe noen kjære Små ting, små ting Det er en liten sang Se frem til hver dag Det finnes så mange slag 
Gentle and most attractive song for Norway. Small thing, little things, sung by Greater Kausland and Benny Borg. For Portugal, Carlos Mendes, born in Lisbon, he's 24 and student architect, represented Portugal at the Eurovision Song Contest in the Albert Hall in 1968. And now with the seventh song. The conductor is uh, Richard Hill, who comes from Glasgow and composed the music for the Canterbury Tales. The song, the seventh song, is A Festa de Vida, The Joy of Living. Here is Carlos Mendes for Portugal. Que venham o solo, vinhas, flores, marés, canções, todas as cores, guerras esquecidas por amor. Que venham já trazendo abraços, vistam sorrisos de palhaços, esqueçam tristezas e cansaços. Que tragam todos os festejos e ninguém se esqueça de Afastem todas as tristezas Pão, vinho e rosas sobre as mesas Que tragam cobertores ou mantas O vinho escorra pelas gargantas E a festa dura até Festa da Vida, The Joy of Living, the song for Portugal. For Switzerland at number eight, Veronique Muller is both singer and composer. And uh, she'll feel at home in Edinburgh, born in Morton, a little town dominated by a castle on the border between French and German-speaking Switzerland. Perhaps that's why she's called Veronique Muller. She's 24. The conductor is French, Jean-Pierre Festi, originally a jazz musician, now a well-known orchestrator. The song is C'est la chanson de mon amour. This is the song of my love. Sung by Veronique Muller for Switzerland. The words by Catherine Desage. Sauvage et tendre, 
C'est la chanson de mon âme Mon cœur s'est laissé prendre à la chanson de mon amour Switzerland won the very first Eurovision Song Contest in 1956. Ninth is the song from Malta. It will be sung by Helen and Joseph. Helen was born at Birkirkara in Malta. She's 21 and Joseph was born in Valletta. He's 31. Both are famous singers in their own right, although they've been uh, teamed up many times like this evening. Charles Camilleri is the conductor and also the composer of the song, which has been chosen from more than 60 others to represent Malta. And that song is called Lim Haba, Love, the words of my Albert Casola. And here are Helen and Joseph. Let's 
With Mortars Limhaba, love, we come to the halfway mark of the song contest. For Finland, coming in at number 10, two of the most attractive performers in the contest, Pevi Paunu and Kim Floor. Pevi is 26 from Helsinki, married, has her own group. Kim is 24 and is at the Swedish Drama School in Helsinki. One more year to go. Became famous overnight with this song, sung with Pevi. The conductor is Ossi Rune. For six years, conducted the Finnish entry. The song is Muistatan, Remember. Remember by Juha Flink and Naka Johansen, sung by Pepe Paunu and Kim Floor for Finland. And now here we are in the Great Hall of Edinburgh Castle, built 500 years ago. And uh, our jury of 36 locked up uh, an hour ago, puzzling away just as you must be doing at home with your, uh, with your own red carpet and your suits of armour on either side of the telly. How are you getting on? It's confusing, isn't it? The UK uh, 
jurors are Doreen Samuels from Glasgow and uh, from Hereford, Robert Bruce Walker, fine Scottish name. But here we are, back in the Usher Hall, half a mile away. And for Austria, coming in at number 11, the Milestones. The conductor is Dr. Erich Kleinschuster of ORF, the Austrian radio and television organization, a jazz musician until 1968. The song is Falter im Moth in the Wind. Here are the Milestones for Austria. Stones, Beatrix Neundlinger, Günther Grösslecher, Christian Kolonovic and Norbert Neidmeyer uh, singing Falter im Wind, Moth in the Wind. For Italy, a solo singer, Nicola de Barry. His conductor is Gianfranco Riverberi, a good name for a conductor. And the song is one with which uh, Nicola Di Bari has already won the 1972 San Remo Festival. I Giorno del Arcobaleno, the Rainbow Days. Nicola Di Bari for Italy. Erano i giorni dell'arcobaleno finito l'inverno tornava il sereno e tu con negli occhi la luna e le stelle sentivi una mano sfiorar la tua pelle e mentre impazzivi 
al profumo dei fiori la notte si accese di mille colori distesa sull'erba come una che sogna già cesti bambina ti alzasti già donna tu adesso ti vedi grande di più sei diventata più forte e sicura è già iniziata la dolce avventura Sono bambine le amiche di prima che si ritrovano in gruppo a giocare e sognano ancora su un raggio di luna. Vivi la vita di donna importante perché a 16 anni ti senti già grande ma un giorno vedrai che ogni donna è matura all'epoca giusta e con giusta misura e in questa tua corsa incontro all'amore ti lascia alle spalle il tempo Warm applause for the Rainbow Days, the Giorni della Cabellano by Piero Conducci and Dalmazio Mazzini for Italy. Teresa, who comes from Dubrovnik, sings Yugoslavia's entry. She's a great success, it's not only in Yugoslavia, but in Paris and all over Europe and on television. For almost 10 years, she's worked with her conductor and composer this evening. Here he is, Dr. Nikitsa Kolodjera. The song is Musica Iti. Music and you. And this girl, Teresa, is a tremendous performer. Svoj svijet svatko gradi sam Svoj san svatko sniva sam Svoj put koji vodi ljubavi Koji vodi sreći toj Svatko traži sam Muzika i ti Редактор 
Musica E.T. Words by Ivica Krajak, sung by Teresa for Yugoslavia. A fine song, but does it take a Teresa to perform it? So, believe it or not, to the last five songs. Number 14 is the song from Sweden. The family four are the singers. They represented Sweden, as you may remember, last year at Dublin. Bernd Oost, Agneta Munter, Mari Bergman, and Pierre Isaksson. The conductor is Mats Olsen. The song by Hawk and Elmquist is Helico Summer Dog, Lovely Summer Day. Last year they sang a song about winter, this year it's lovely summer day. And you'll notice small blonde Mari Bergman had a leg bandage. She sprained an ankle here in Edinburgh a couple of days ago, which is a great shame, but it didn't spoil the performance. There's the winner of last year's Eurovision Song Contest for Monica, Severin. So, to the uh, song for Monaco. Uh, Peter McLean, fine old Scottish name, and Anne-Marie Godard. Anne-Marie's 22, set on a stage career from the age of 14. Peter McLean's 26, 15, started studying classical guitar in Strasbourg. The conductor is also the composer, Raymond Bernard, who has taken part in two other Eurovision Song Contests. His song is Comme on s'aime, How Much We Love Each Other. The words by Jean Grégeat, who wrote Sous le ciel de Paris. Il fait des rêves blancs et sous ses cheveux longs, 
Il a des violons plein la tête Elle a le cœur qui bat Car elle sait déjà Comment il apprendra dans ses bras Comment De Paris, du nord ou du midi. De Paris, il sourit à la fête. Ah, amoureux de partout, il vient jusqu'à nous. Chanter la bénisson, la chanson. Severine approved of this year's performance for Monaco. Comme on scène. And that's when you go away humming. The Belgian song is number 16. The singers Serge and Christine Guiselon. They were married at Christmas 1968. They have a five-month-old baby daughter called Julie Christie. And they're both teachers of elocution and declamation, so you should hear the words. Their musical director is Henry Zegas. Four times conducted the Eurovision Orchestra. The song A la folie ou pas du tout, madly or not at all. Serge et Christine Giselon.
Belgian song written by Daniel Nelis, Bob Milan, and Emile Soulon. Madly or not at all. So, have you decided what's going to win? Well, that's uh, a bad idea because there are two smashing songs to come at 17 and 18. Here for Luxembourg, Vicky Leon Rose. She was born in Corfu, left uh, Greece while a child, and now uh, lives in Hamburg. She represented the Grand Duchy in uh, 1967. Since then, she's been awarded three golden discs and also received awards from uh, Japan and America. The conductor for Luxembourg is um, also the composer. He comes from Hamburg too. His name, Klaus Munro. And the song for Luxembourg is Apretoire. After You, sung by Vicky Lyons. a strong challenge from Vicky Leon Rose for Luxembourg. Apretois, after you. Luxembourg were the winners in 1961 and 1965. So the last song, number 18, for the Netherlands, Sandra and Andres. Uh, both from Indonesia. They, were, they come from villages only two miles apart. Now both living in Holland. She's 22 and uh, had her first single hit when she was 13. First teamed up with Andres, who's 30, in 1966. The conductor is Harry van Hoog who uh, works a great deal of the time to help us in the song, Als het om de liefde gaat. What do I do? Ik origineel 
that for a fighting knees men finish. Cheers for the Netherlands song number 18. And if it was a Eurovision infectious gaiety and bounce contest, that's the winner. Music by uh, Hans van Hamert and uh, words by Rhys Holton, in other words, Andres himself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have heard the 18 songs in this year's Eurovision song contest. And it is now time for our jury up at the castle to cast their votes. And I hope that you may be doing the same thing at home. But whilst everything is being prepared for this exciting climax, we go over to Edinburgh Castle for a very Scottish entertainment. Eh bien, mesdames et messieurs, nous venons d'entendre les 18 chansons. Again, in French, the other language of the European Broadcasting Union. Well, who wins? Luxembourg? Netherlands with that last bouncy number, United Kingdom, a lot of Scottish backing, as I say, for the new seekers with Eve Graham there, or that uh, gentle song from Norway, or the melodious one from Italy, I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. It's been a very high standard of entries this year. And I wonder what Andrew Usher would say about this evening. He built this hall so that as many people as possible could enjoy music. But how could he have believed it if someone had said that one night 400 million people would hear songs from the Usher Hall? Well, here's the castle. As those of you know, Edinburgh, it's about half a mile away from here on a rock 500 feet high in the centre of the city. This is where the Crown of Scotland is kept. This is where each year the famous military tattoo is held. What a setting as the pipes and drums of eight Scottish regiments march across the drawbridge between statues of Scotland's heroes, Wallace and Bruce, and countermarch where the city of Edinburgh began, at the top of the castle hill. The tune is the Inverness Gathering. The 
drum major who leads them is James Mallet of the Argyles. There are more than 200 pipers and drummers. In kilts of six tons, the Royal Stuart, the Hunting Stuart, the Leslie, Black Watch, Cavern of Erecht, and the Gore. the Gordon Tartan with the yellow stripes. grateful thanks to the massed pipes and drums of the Scottish regiments. And now, I'd like to tell you a little more about our new voting system, inaugurated for the first time last year. As you already know, our jury is here in Edinburgh, and it is made up of 36 members, two from each participating country, one over 25 years of age, and the other under 25 years of age. And there must be 10 years difference in their ages. They can give a minimum of one vote or a maximum of five, which means a potential of 10 votes from each country. However, a jury cannot vote for its own country. Juries from three countries will vote together, and this is repeated six times. Notre appréciation aux musiques réunies quand nous y tambour des régiments écossais. Et maintenant, so you will see when the groups of three votes that they never vote on their own entries. I was telling you about the uh, United Kingdom uh, jurors. Doreen Samuels from Glasgow is representing the under-25s for the United Kingdom. Uh, she served on the jury last year for the British Song for Europe uh, when a personal vote wasn't possible because of the strike. Uh, Robert Bruce Walker from Hereford, who represents the over-25s, is a motor car distributor. Asked if he had any connection with uh, popular songs, he said, well, uh, Lonnie Donegan uh, wrote My Old Man's Dustman in the front room of my house. There's a shipbuilder from Yugoslavia, there's a dancer from Sweden, an architect from Finland, an opera student, in fact, quite a lot of students, and 90% of the jurors speak fluent English. That shames us. Mr. Clifford Brown is the official EBU scrutineer, and his word will be final. 
Monsieur Clifford Brown, Mr. Clifford est Brown uh, an Englishman who lives in Geneva, UER, is head of the Eurovision Programme Services, has been for 11 years. This is his sixth year as adjudicator. The jury has already cast its votes during the programme. These have been given to Mr. Brown, and he will check that the votes recorded on this scoreboard are correct. In the event of a tie, there is a laid down procedure, which I shall explain should the situation arise. Les membres du jury ont déjà enregistré leur vote pendant l'émission. Ceux-ci ont été remis à M. Brown, qui va vérifier l'exactitude des votes enregistrés sur le tableau. En cas d'égalité de points, il existe une procédure que je vous expliquerai le cas échéant. And now, ladies and gentlemen, over to the Great Hall of Edinburgh Castle, for the moment we have all been waiting for. Et maintenant, mesdames et messieurs, nous nous retrouvons so dans la grande we'll salle right de Chateau by the jury from 18 countries up in the castle. Nous attendons tous. Will the jury please stand by? Germany, France, and Ireland. Your votes, please, for Germany. Fourteen votes. For France. Ten votes. For Ireland. Seven votes. For Spain, please. Seventeen votes. For the United Kingdom. 23 votes. For Norway. 13 votes. For Portugal. 14 votes. Switzerland. 15 votes. For Malta, nine votes. Your votes for Finland, please. Ten votes. For Austria, eighteen votes. And now for Italy. 12 votes. For Yugoslavia. 16 votes. For Sweden. 13 votes. Your votes for Monaco. 11 votes. For Belgium, nine votes. For Luxembourg, twenty six votes. <laughs> and for the Netherlands, twenty votes. Thank so, you, Germany, Vicky France, Leandros and Ireland. In the lead at the moment for Luxembourg. United Kingdom second Spain, with 23. Spain, United Kingdom and Norway. Your votes, please, for Germany. 20 votes, making a total of 34. For France. 18, making a total of 28. For Ireland, please. 14 votes, making a total of 21. For Spain. 11 votes, making a total of 28. The United Kingdom. 
12 votes, making a total of 35. For Norway? Nine votes, making a total of 22. For Portugal? 13 votes, making a total of 27. For Switzerland? 16 votes, making a total of 31. And for Malta? 10 votes, making a total of 19. For Finland? 17 votes, making a total of 27. For Austria? 14 votes, making a total of 32. For Italy? 11 votes, making a total of 23. Your votes, please, for Yugoslavia. 17 votes, making a total of 33. For Sweden? 11 votes, making a total of 24. For Monaco? 14 votes, making a total of 25. For Belgium? Nine votes, making a total of 18. For Luxembourg? 20 votes, making a total of 46. And for the Netherlands? 25 votes, making a total of 45. Excitement as the Thank Netherlands comes up to second Spain, place behind United Luxembourg. Kingdom I didn't want Vicky Leon Rose is looking so worried about Portugal, leading in the second Switzerland round. Switzerland and Malta. Your votes, please, for Germany. 15 votes, making a total of 49. For France? 10 votes, making a total of 38. For Ireland? 13 votes, making a total of 34. For Spain? 13 votes, making a total of 41. The United Kingdom? 14 votes, making a total of 49. Norway? 12 votes, making a total of 34. For Portugal? 11 votes, making a total of 38. For Switzerland? Six votes, making a total of 37. For Malta? Four votes, making a total of 23. Your votes for Finland? 10 votes, making a total of 37. And for Austria? 17 votes, making a total of 49. For Italy? 22 votes, making a total of 45. For Yugoslavia? 11 votes, making a total of 44. For Sweden? 10 votes, making a total of 34. For Monaco? 9 votes, making a total of 34. For Belgium? 11 votes, making a total of 29. Luxembourg? 17 votes, making a total of 63.
Luxembourg well out ahead. For the Netherlands. 14 votes, making a total of 59. <laughs> Netherlands for Portugal, behind Luxembourg. Portugal, Switzerland and Malta, thank you. Finland, Austria and Italy. It now gets Your votes, very exciting. please, for Germany. 17 votes, making a total of 66. And for France? Nine votes, making a total of 47. For Ireland? 10 votes, making a total of 44. For Spain? 12 votes, making a total of 53. The United Kingdom? 21 votes, making a total of 70. That's a wonderful vote. For Norway? 12 votes, making a total of 46. For Portugal? 15 votes, making a total of 53. For Switzerland? 20 votes, making a total of 57. Malta? Nine votes, making a total of 32. For Finland? Six votes, making a total of 43. And for Austria? 10 votes, making a total of 59. For Italy? 12 votes, making a total of 57. For Yugoslavia? 8 votes, making a total of 52. And now for Sweden? 12 votes, making a total of 46. For Monaco? 11 votes, making a total of 45. For Belgium? Nine votes, making a total of 38. So Luxembourg is the mark we're all waiting for. United Kingdom with 70, Luxembourg with 63. For Luxembourg? 23 votes, making a total of 86. 86. Luxembourg well in the room. And for the Netherlands? Well, she may smile. 18 votes, making a total of 77. And Netherlands? Second with 77. Thank you, Finland, Austria, and Italy. Yugoslavia, Sweden, and Monaco. Your votes, please, for Germany. 21 votes, making a total of 87. For France? 13 votes, making a total of 60. For Ireland? 13 votes, making a total of 57. Your votes for Spain? 17 votes, making a total of 70. For the United Kingdom? 24 votes, making a total of 94. For Norway? So 94 of the new seekers. 13 votes. Making but a total of 59. Luxembourg well, with one round's voting to go at 86, hot on their tails. 15 votes, Very good mark for Germany, considering they sang first, 87. Switzerland? 15 votes, making a total of 72. Malta? 8 votes, making a total of 40. Finland? 13 votes, making a total of 56. For Austria? 23 votes, making a total of 82. For Italy? 18 votes, making a total of 75. For Yugoslavia? 
13 votes, making a total of 65. Sweden. 12 votes, making a total of 58. Monaco. Seven votes, making a total of 52. For Belgium. Eight votes, making a total of 46. For Luxembourg. 25 votes, making a total of 111. For the Netherlands, 20 votes, total Luxembourg in 97. An unbeatable position, huh? surely. Yes. Luxembourg with Thank 111. You, Netherlands, Sweden 97. And United Monaco. Kingdom, 94. Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. Your votes, please, for Germany. 20 votes, making and a grand total of 107. Decisive round. So Germany are not the winners. For France? 21 votes, making a grand total of 81. For Ireland? 15 votes, grand total of 72. For Spain? 13 votes, a grand total of 83. The United Kingdom? Hold your breath. 20 votes, making a grand total of 114. 114 in the lead at the moment, Your but vote, I don't think enough of a lead Norway. to catch up with Luxembourg. 14 votes, making a grand total of 73. For Portugal. 22 votes, making a grand total of 90. For Switzerland. 16 votes, grand total of 88. For Malta. Eight votes, a grand total of 48. For Finland. 22 votes, a grand total of 78. And for Austria. 18 votes, a grand total of 100. Your votes for Italy? 17 votes with a grand total of 92. For Yugoslavia? 22 votes with a grand total of 87. For Sweden? So, United votes, Kingdom and New Seekers still in the lead. Make the most of it, because I've got the feeling it won't be for long with that total for of 111 Monaco. for Luxembourg. 13 votes, a grand total of 65. For Belgium. Nine votes, a grand total of 55. Now, this is the decisive score. For Luxembourg. 17 votes, grand They've total it. of 128. They've done it. She's done it. Vicky Leandros for Luxembourg, 128. And grand your total. votes, please, for the Netherlands. Nine votes, a grand total of 106. So, the United Kingdom is second, as we so often have been in the past, but many congratulations to Luxembourg with 128 votes. The winners of the 1972 Eurovision Song Contest. Gentlemen, the winner of the 1972 Eurovision Song Contest is et donc mesdames et messieurs le gagnant du concours de la chanson Eurovision 1972 c'est Luxembourg Present the Grand Prix to the author composer of the winning song. We have the artist who sang the winning song last year, Un banc, une arbre, une rue, Severine.
Here she comes, Severine, who sang the winning song last year. So now we wait for the songwriters to take the medals, because remember, this is a song contest. It's not a contest between artists. And here we are. Mario Panas. A great triumph for Vicky Leongos for Luxembourg. A very deserved winner with a lovely performance Ladies of Luxembourg's song, Après toi, After You. Ladies and gentlemen, it only remains for me to wish you all, wherever you are, a very warm good night. And here to end our program is once again the winning song of the 1972 Eurovision Song Contest, sung by Vicky Leandros. So, with our congratulations to Vicky Leandros, to Klaus Munro and his fellow songwriters from Luxembourg, with our thanks to the radio orchestra who've accompanied all the songs in the contest, to the artists who've come from all over Europe to Edinburgh, and to you for watching. I say goodbye to you from the Usher Hall and good night to you from Edinburgh.
and the Eurovision Song Contest of 1972.